Here's a question. What do ranked Apex Legends and women have in common? You don't know how to do either one of them. How does anyone find that funny? So let me give you a few tips to improve your game. I'm going to try and keep this video short and sweet, but seriously, do take note of what I'm saying because a lot of this stuff can help you get to Diamond or even Masters. Okay, so really quickly, the first thing that we're going to go over is knowing when to take fights. Let's say this is you right here at Caustic Treatment, your blue team. And let's say you have green team over here and red team over here. If blue team starts shooting at you, most people, what they initially want to do is they just want to take the fight with green team immediately to get him out of the way. But what you're really going to want to do is if you know that there's these three teams here, what you want to do is maybe you shoot at red team and green team at the same time and you try and get them to fight with each other. And then when they fight with each other, then you come in and you clean up for the third party. Or alternatively, if you get shot at by green team and you know these two teams are both here, you just leave. Just get out. It's not worth it. You know, I, I, I don't want to hear any rage comments about, oh, you know, I would just W key both teams because I'm an apex predator and I'm a beast. I don't give a sh 99% of players are not going to be able to W key both teams, so it's not worth it. And you really don't get many points for getting kills in ranked right now. So unless a team fight is absolutely essential for your positioning, it's not worth it. Now, alternatively, let's look at a fight that would be worth it. You are blue team right here, and the ring is closing in to be over here. But there's a problem. There's one team right here that's blocking you from getting into the ring. This is an example of a time where you almost certainly will need to take a fight. The only option you have is take a very long route around to try and get into zone over here, potentially take an evac tower to get over them, but the higher up you get in rank, the less effective evac towers are going to be because you're just going to get shot off of them. Really, for most players, the only thing that you're going to be able to do is take this fight. And it's going to be very tough because they're up on height, up on this wall. But this just goes to show, really, the only time that you should be taking a fight in ranked is when you are 100% confident that either the fight needs to happen for you to stay in the game, or you are 100% confident that you will be able to clean up this fight without dying. What you need to know is that there are just some places on the map where you are way more likely to be third party than other places. On Kings Canyon, that's going to be over here. This is a terrible spot to take a fight. It's super long sight lines. There's a height right here. There's height right here. There's height right here. If you take a fight anywhere in this area, you are almost certainly going to get screwed over. Another bad spot to take a fight is over here and over here. Generally speaking, anywhere along the river, you don't really want to be taking a fight because the river is low ground and everything around the river is high ground. To contrast, there are areas like caustic treatment. As long as there's only two teams here, this is a great spot to take a fight. Anywhere really on the edges of the map, swamps is good to take a fight. All of these edge draw spots are good to take a fight. Just be very, very sure that you know how many teams are lurking around in your area. This next piece of advice is really going to piss some people off, but if you're playing ranked, do not, under any circumstance, drop hot. There's no possible reason. You are basically gambling away your game. If you're looking for an exciting, fast-paced game, that's when you're going to want to go to pubs because dropping hot is just not for ranked. If you're, if you're really looking to win games and rank up, this... Let's just do this. Let's just do this right here. This whole area of the map, do not drop anywhere over there. Just don't, just don't do it. I'm sorry, just don't do it. It is very, very likely that you will be surrounded and third-partied from multiple teams rotating into the ring, so it's just not worth it. All right, the next thing that we're going to be talking about is inventory management for ranked. In public lobbies, you generally don't need as many heals because you can just kill teams for loot, but in ranked, that's not really as viable. You can still kill teams for loot, but like we were talking about earlier, you don't really want to be taking that many fights in ranked. Let's just go with a standard blue backpack. This is probably what you're going to be having in most games. You've got your two guns. If it's really an ammo eating gun like the R99, you're probably going to want four to five stacks of ammo for that gun. And then if you have a less ammo intensive gun, like maybe the 3030, I'd probably go with three stacks of ammo. You could, honestly, you could even get away with two stacks of ammo for a gun like that. But the big thing for ranked is going to be heals. This is definitely going to be the most important part of your inventory for ranked because ranked is a very uh very poke intensive game meaning that there's going to be a lot of times where you're going to be shooting at an enemy team and they're going to be shooting back at you but you're not really fully committing to fighting you're kind of just farming up your evo shield which is why you really you need a lot of shields to play ranked a phoenix kit is kind of just a take it if you get it kind of thing but usually i'd go with six six batteries four to eight cells two med kits and no syringes. Syringes are not really that useful when you have med kits. And then this is a part that most people cheap out on. Get some grenades, man. You do need grenades. 
all high level players in ranked are going to be playing with grenades. They are oftentimes your only way to pressure an enemy out of cover, create sight lines, create more play opportunities, break doors. And if you have an inventory that looks something like this, then you should be all set. Next, we're going to be talking about the weapon meta for Season 18. Largely speaking, the weapon meta is going to be one SMG or relatively close range AR. So you're talking Alternator, R99, or an R301 for sure. Personally, I, I feel like the R99 is the best possible gun for ranked because it can take those close range fights and really spray an enemy down, but it can also be, you know, a mid range fight like this. But then you can also get up close range like this. Point is, get at least one close to mid range weapon. Then after that, what you're definitely, definitely, definitely going to want for ranked is a 35. 30. This thing deals a disgusting amount of damage at mid to long range. I mean, oh my god. I would definitely recommend the 30-30 the most, but if you prefer, the Hemlock is also a very, very meta gun right now. Or even instead of the 30-30, you could get a long range gun like the Triple Take, potentially even a Nemesis. Cookie, buddy, shush. If you're really good with it, you could even pick up the Wingman, the Longbow, the Sentinel, or the Charge Rifle. Point is, you know, you need you need one short-range gun, one long-range gun. The loadout that I would personally recommend is R99 and 3030. With this loadout, I think you're going to have a very, very good time in ranked. Finally, it is time to talk about the Legend meta right now in Season 18. This part will be a little shorter. I'm just basically going to list out the best legends in the game. I think the ideal team comp for any team is going to be Catalyst, Horizon, and Bangalore. I personally believe that that is the best trio in the game right now. You have Catalyst to control buildings, Horizon for good team mobility, and Bangalore for that disgusting assault and even the smokes for good getaways. If those characters are not your cup of tea though, I would say other viable legends are Pathfinder, Revenant, Gibraltar, Watson or Caustic, Loba, and potentially Bloodhound. This one's iffy though. Legends that I would absolutely avoid in ranked. Crypto is really bad right now. Vantage is not very good right now either. All four of these assault legends right here are not very good right now in ranked. Wraith and Octane are very good legends, but they don't really fit the ranked play style. They're a bit more fast paced and aggressive. Rampart is fine, but definitely has a bit of a learning curve. Valkyrie is kind of dead right now after the addition of evac towers. Lifeline is pretty bad. Newcastle is decent, and Mirage is pretty bad for ranked, so. Now, go out there and get to Masters.